Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Dan Deck, and today we're starting a brand new series. We are going to be playing a recipe for disaster, a game where you build a kitchen, a cafe type thing up, and you've got to serve the public. Trying to go with almost King of Retail vibes, because I know a lot of you enjoy that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it's going to be somewhat similar to that. And um, like I normally do for the start of the series, if you'd like to look in the description below, there's a link to Discord where you can come join in with chats and... Um, also sign up for uh, streams that we do on Sundays, like yesterday. Well, for me it was yesterday. When this episode comes out, it won't be yesterday. Uh, we played Devoured and tried out the new map. Went somewhat well. You'll have to go have a look at that. Um, and there's also a link to Patreon as well. So if you'd like to support the channel, then feel free to go uh, have a look there. And also on Twitch, you can subscribe on there as well. That's also linked down there. Well... I've not tried a new game or anything in this. Hopefully I've got the sand right. You know what I'm like with my sand. I'm a bit finicky. Oh, it looks, it looks good. Looks good. So how about we just press new game and it should hopefully give me a nice tutorial. Sh should we go with the tutorial? Basic tutorial. I think I'm going to need a tutorial for this game. Maybe if I'd have jumped straight into the campaign, there'd have been a slight tutorial, but maybe there wouldn't have been. Hopefully this is going to teach me some things that I don't know. I mean, I don't know anything at the minute, so... So, the first step to mastery. The big day has come. Is the food industry really your calling? The pressure will be great, but hopefully you're able to handle it. Click and drag this panel to move it around. And then there's a t tutorial for the tutorial on the right there. Do you anything else? Uh, yeah, anyway. So, click and drag. We can move that around. Happy days. Why? Why? Is it because I'm scrolling over something there? It looked like it was bringing up all the menus. Oh, anyway. Um, WSD to look around. You can instead use the mouse at the edge of the screen. I can't because apparently I'm in windowed mode. Um, mouse wheel can be used to zoom in and out. Q and E to rotate. I'm sure you can zoom in like that as well. Uh, this place is a mess before doing anything else. Select every bit of trash and get rid of it, including the wall selection in the middle that sticks out like a sore thumb. You have a bunch of tools in the top of the UI. Oh, yep. Yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm getting to that about demolish this wall. You have a bunch of tools at the top of the UI that you can hide walls with, uh, like Sims, right? What does it mean up here? Duplicate, build wall, paint wall, paint wall, demolish. Take out the wall. Right, we need to shift this out of the way. My face isn't blocking anything important at the minute, so we're all good. So this is, this, this is the demolish tool. Get rid of those. Ta-da. And you... E can we select them all at once? If I hold control, it pivots the thing around. Can we not just delete, delete, delete? Yeah, that'll, that'll probably do it. Next. Now that the place isn't so disgusting, we can get to work on the build menu. Do you see a chair icon? That's the furniture tab. And the one with the stove icon is the appliances tab. Let's add some tables and chairs for the customers. So, this, ta uh, this chair right here, that is not a table. Whoa, steady. I guess we're just going with a, a, a basic table. Let's go with a common table. It costs a little bit more, but I don't want to put it right up against the wall. And chairs, a common, a common grey chair. This one. Oh, it even tucks the chairs into the tables for you. That's wonderful. Do we, do we really want one chair? Why, why is, I, I guess Q and E is easier to rotate with than the mouse. That just seems to pivot a little bit. Anyway. There's a table and chairs. A deep fryer is a good starting appliance. When placing an object, you can use R to rotate it. Always good. So there's the appliances. There's the deep fryer. Y you could actually put it in the dining room. I we don't want to do that like, but R to rotate. Yes, I know I'm just pressing Q and E as well. I will stop spinning the camera around. Cool. On the build menu, do you see the painting icon? That's the decorations tab. You might want to think about surrounding customer tables with attractive paintings of fresh flowers instead of deep fryers splashing their hot oil everywhere. Who would put the deep fryer in there? I know I said about it, but so we want this one. And how about a table vase? There you go. How's that? You're sat there having a nice meal and you can't see whoever sat across from you. You've got a nice flower in your face. That, that's brilliant. Um, the yellow star icon on the top right is the ambience overlay, which tells you how appealing or disgusting different areas of your restaurant are. The greener the hue, the better the vibe. The yellow star. Yellow star? Yellow star. Oh, it's over there. The, the big red thing. 
that's pointing to it over there. So, kitchen and the toilet's pretty damn disgusting. Not good. Nice red kitchen. Cool. Red and black appliances would be the dream. We can turn that back off now, I guess. You need ingredients to make your dishes and your storage is quite empty. Click on the food storage icon at the bottom and request the delivery for, for some ingredients. Uh, food storage? Order 10 chicken wings. Can I type in here or have I I've literally just got to... Shift click. Shift click adds 10s. Does control click add 100? No, it adds 1. Fair enough. Um, ignore global purchase. I don't know what any of that is. In storage 46. Oh, right. So, yeah. Anyway. We've got nothing there yet. I don't think. It does say that we've got things stored there. Is the game lying to me? Anyway. Next. You don't need to look at ingredients all day, right? You can choose any, uh, close any panel by pressing the cross up there. I didn't really need a tutorial for that one, thank you. Um, it's now time to open the restaurant. When you're ready, hit open button at the top right. Boom. Ordered ingredients delivered. Wow, that was quick. Didn't even see them come. And what next? See the chef portrait at the top? Can, can we pause? One, two, and three speeds time. I love it when games all go with the same buttons. See the chef portrait at the top. We have Chef Mike. We can rename these, right? We can rename these. I'm not going to do it in the tutorial, but I am going to name my chefs after my Patreons, and I'm just going to work my way down my list. So our first two chefs will be Shifo and Night Raven. Obviously, we're not doing it in the tutorial. mike I didn't mean to type, damn it. We're not doing it in the tutorial. You're not going to be around long enough. That's just changed that back to mic'd. No, it hasn't. That's that's fine. Anyway, what are you trying to tell me? Right now, you're alone, so get used to doing everything by yourself. Click the portrait to select them, or double click to open their character panel. Okay. Character panel, which provides a summary of the skills and thoughts. We'll get to those later. Thoughts? Happy to be here. This place is squeaky clean, full of energy. Nobody likes this restaurant. It's a shame. Anyway. Now, for, bleh, for now, the head chef is low and you really don't want to have to manually select every little task. Time to set up some automation. Click on the appliances tab and tables you have placed and use the plus what? So click on that and click on that. Use the plus icon to assign the head chef to them. Boom. You get Chef Mike for this table. Yeah, I will now do its job. Assign the head chef and the appliance. And head chef. Oh, right. I thought it meant I needed to do both. So he's using the deep fryer for the t that table, I take it. Cleaning part one. Oh, no. A dirty restaurant will not only make your customers mad, but it will also increase the likelihood of fires in the kitchen. Open the cleaning areas. Editor. This one. Okay, next. To clean your restaurant, you need to create cleaning areas. To create the cl them. Oh, my God. Words are difficult. I can't even say it's early morning. It's like quarter to dinner time. 12. Quarter to 12. Uh, to create them, click the create button, the green one. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. And uh, in the top right of the... So I guess we're just wanting to clean the... Kitchen. And sorry, Chef Mike. Here's another job for you. Enjoy. Hmm, my dude. My dude. Uh, sure, you want your team to work hard, but they also need to stay healthy. The employee portraits at the top of the screen contain empl the employee's stamina right there. You have a hundred stamina. That, that looks empty to me. A more vivid colour would be cool. Um, stamina meter and their break button. Do not let your staff get exhausted, otherwise their performance will suffer. And then I can literally tell him to go rest. Cool. Can you complete this simple task? I believe in you. I want you to hurry things up. And you can fast forward time in the bottom right corner. Go, go, go. Boom. Come on, Chef Mike. You have got this. What would you like, sir? He's literally got to do everything. He's got to wait the tables, put the order in, get the order. Cool. Oh, dude. We need you some help as soon as possible. Come up and get your own food. It's there. It's on, it's on the... Dude. I, I need to check this now. Key bindings. Is there a way... Toggle pause. Anybody want to guess what I'm looking for before I find it? Toggle over. 
It's not the overlay thing that I hide UI F10. Boom. You know what? <laughs> you know that flower that's in the way. <laughs> the faces. It, this actually quite reminds me of. Um, oh, why is it going medieval graphics? Boom. There we go. We've got a got a screenshot of him. F10 to enable. Thank you. Oh. You can leave the icons on if you want. There's nothing. There's icons only. Right, anyway, let's get back to it. How many courses did that dude order? Can we see? You can increase or decrease the effort. Well, if somebody's being a dig, we'll turn that right down. Loved fried and pork loin. Hated food chocolate drops. Traits, big eater and he's attractive. Thoughts. No thoughts. I think, just looking in here, we kind of need... Oh, it pauses it when you go in here. I think we kind of need one of those. Sorry, Chef Mike. That kind of needs to be clean. Stamina 61%. Oh, it's the colour behind his thing, isn't it? Go for a rescue. Oh, that dude's gone into the toilet. I thought it was the bar next to his name. So what's the bar next to his name then? 35 pounds. Oh crap, we only had one table, so he was kind of struggling there. I want to see what the order is. What are you ordering? Does it tell me what you're ordering? It does not. Oh, we only got told to um, to do two meals. So. And does it tell me when we've run out of things? I don't know all this stuff yet. We need to, we need to find out more. Not gonna lie, today's episode may just be tutorial, but if it helps us get into the game properly, then happy days. We have served two people. I don't know why I'm leaving this ordered ingredients. Excuse me, what? You've done everything right so far, so I think you're ready for a real challenge. It's time to prove that your experience goes beyond watching irate chef shouting at hapless restaurant owners on reality TV. Hmm. I wonder who that's referencing. End tutorial. Yes. Next level. Does that take me to the advanced tutorial? Please. Please don't take me straight into the campaign. Welcome back. Cool. Yep, I'm assuming this isn't the campaign if it's got one of these giant things in the middle. So, you know how to handle a couple of customers, but working alone with a pre-made menu will only get you so far. Time to customize your menu and hire some employees. One small tip. Maybe having a fryer in the middle of the dining room isn't the best. I only joked about it. Jesus game. Let's move this down here. Let's open the restaurant and get started. If you ever need to pause the time. I already knew space button. Open restaurant. Bam. If that's the only thing my face is going to hide, then you've not really got to worry about it. Um. This, this, this needs move. This needs move. How do we move things? Um, I think it's down here. No? Reset camera. That's all camera stuffs. <clears throat> we've got we've got no orders or anything. It's not told me how to move things yet, so I guess carry on with the tutorial. Customers demand demand can be pretty overwhelming, so you'll need some help. Imply imply hire two employees to reduce the pressure. You can also do this by clicking the staff button in the UI below. Try to hire a few new recruits who have strong complementary skills. Keep in mind their hourly wage. So this will be staff. Um, so your fives across the board. Cool. Just going to move this over here for a second. What's the you dislike and love, right? Yeah. Hello, baby girl. Welcome back. Enjoy your walk with Granddad. You can lie down, then. You've had your fun now. <laughs> I know. That sounds terrible. You're a carnivore. Good. Um. So you get... Yeah, but you dislike that. Oh, you dislike waitering. You dislike frying. I see. I see. So, I mean, you seem pretty cool. Your hiring fee is ridiculous and you're a salary. Oh my god, I... Really? You don't get paid that little, surely. Stove, countertop, countertop, sorry. Yeah, 
We're going to take you and then we need somebody that's good with the frying and stuff. I mean, you, you had a bit of... Is there anybody that likes the serving side of it? I think I'm going to go with you. Because then you can clean and prep and stuff. Chef Mike can cook and you can... £1.59? I hope that's like a minute. Jesus. Anyway, we've got two new employees. Next. Maybe Jake has a problem with Emily because she is lazy. Did you hear that Michael quit two hours ago? Inspect each of your employees' character sheets to see their stress meter and their thoughts. You can also keep an eye on each employee's stress. Also, their portrait in the top center of the part of the screen. Cool. Now that you have some help, let's put some more objects. Let's place some more objects, even. Add an extra table and another appliance to serve more customers. Come and lie down, baby. And increase the cash flow. You can click, you can right click a placed object in build mode to move it. Oh, okay. We're not in build mode. We need to go into build mode. Right click, move. Um, I mean, the fryer can go right there. Get that out of the kitchen. Um, what is with the... I'm sorry, but I prefer my chairs straight facing each other. Add an extra table and chairs and a grill. Okay, okay. So we've got another common... Do we want them that close? You know what? Yeah, I do. Pack them in. Sardines and all that. And you can have a wooden chair. Two wooden chairs, even. What have we got in here? That's a huge vase. A napkin holder. You know what? They seem more appropriate. Only adds two. Adds an ambient modifier plus two in a radius of two. So you've got the modifier and then the radius. I see. Right. Learning more. Uh, we need grill. Give me a grill. R to rotate. There we go. I don't like this camera angle that I've currently got. I don't know if I like the walls being partially up or completely down. I think completely down might be better. Next, culinary wizardry. Cool. Time to get creative. Click on the recipe editor icon at the bottom of the UI. Then click new recipes and give it a name. Right click on the canvas and select the deep fry action. Select meat category and dag I think we need to do this step by step. Recipe editor. <sighs> click on new recipe. I mean, we've got a new recipe right there. Right. It's like the deep what? What am I doing? You know what? Delete. New recipe. Um Helps if you spell recipe right. We, we, this is just gonna be a test. I had to look at that a few times again then to make sure it was right. Recipe is too cheap. Add more ingredients, right? Then click new recipe and give it a name. Right click on the canvas and select the deep fry action. Oh, what? Oh, I didn't realize you had to put these in order. Select meat category and drag the chicken wings. Chicken wings. Oh, was I meant to... One minute. Dra grab them to there. That, that's the one. You deep fry the chicken wings. Um, a new action will automatically link to the action that follows in the chain. Right. You can change the appearance of your dish by clicking the brown arrow pointing downwards on the plate action. Are we really that bothered what it, what it looks like? Just looks like that. Just a plate of meat. When you've got a moment, how about making a few different recipes? You want a wide range of customers, right? Finish creating a new dish with deep fried chicken wings. What else have I got to do? We, we grill it after that. No, I don't want that. Is that... What? What? That goes there. Deep fry step. What? Then what? Recipe is too cheap. Add more ingredients. Um, how about some vegetables then? How about some... How about we do something like a, a flipping a dinner? The... 
Where's like the potatoes and stuff? God damn it, pasta? Chicken and pasta? Oh god. Main course? No? All? No, we don't want all, absolutely not. Seafood? You don't want chicken and seafood, that just seems weird. Chicken and chocolate drops. You know what? As about chicken and rice. You don't... Surely you don't want to... Deep fried rice? Chips were right there if you want those. God damn it. Where was I? Potato fries. Yes, Raven. Um, you can have deep fried chips. How about we go like that? Why has this got, one got an arrow coming out of there? What? Oh, I, I see. I, I, I don't know what's happening. Is that good? Cost to make, £3.35. Cooking time, four minutes. Do, do we save that? Chicken and chips, anyone? Chicken and chips. Chicken and chips. <laughs> Sauces. What have we got in here? Any gravy? Chicken, chips, and gravy. I love that. Absolutely love it. Anyway, we've we've made a, a recipe. There we go. Well, I'm going to need people telling me recipes that you want me to cook with a name for it as well, because this is going to be dreadful for me making things. Oh, paprika chips. Where where are we? Paprika. Where were I? Damn it. Have we got paprika? Is it in here? Would it be in misc? Salt? Pepper? Parsley? Wait, have we not even got salt and pepper on the chicken? Pepper? Salt? A bit of seasoning? Pap. Smoked paprika. There you go. There's, there's your paprika chips, Raven. <laughs> Lower the price of the new recipe. Oh, god damn it. Save. Uh, in the menu editor, you can change the price of the dish you just created. Let's lower the price a bit to tempt new customers. You can also increase it again once the restaurant has gained some popularity. So... Uh... I guess we need to order some of these. Right, that's them ordered, yes. Recipe editor. How do you lower the price? Cost to make is right there, yeah. Let's lower the price a bit to tempt new customers. Skills, tags, allergens, nothing like that. Export? I don't want to. Don't export, right? No, save. I don't know. Menu, menu, menu. £20.50? What the? Ignore what... Um, what would I pay for chicken and chips? £9.99. I don't know if I would. Cost... We're still doubling that. That is absurd. £20.50. Do you think we are flipping Gordon Ramsay? Uh, get organised. I know I'm faffing around something fierce on this, but anywho. Um, right, we can come out of that. Let's get our normal screen back. Now that you're paying for extra help, you'll need to make sure everybody is assigned to the correct appliances and tables. Don't forget about their personalities. Always consider the following. What do they love? What do they hate? And what is best for business? Top tip. Adding more than one person to an appliance or table will make it your life a lot easier. Trust me, efficiency is key. Assign at least two team members to the same appliance. I mean, I don't really want to at the minute. Sorry. I mean, you love waiting tables, don't you? That's what we hired you for. And then both of... Well, we'll have Chef Mike first. You don't like this. First. That is first, yeah. There we go. So Chef Mike, by rights, will do this first, I hope. Uh, if necessary, you can man manually interact with an appliance or table by selecting an employee and right-clicking on the object. Most of the time, you can trust the eye, but occasionally you'll find the manual interaction will need to be required. Okay. 
I know that that was a lot to learn, so prove that you've been paying attention and served some customers. Okay. Damien and Gate, get to work. Again, we're still in the tutorial, so... Do you all have to stand in here like this? I guess we should set some cleaning zones up as well. Just very quickly, we'll have a toilet cleaning zone in there. Damien, sorry dude, you've got the short straw here. Can you name these as well? Expand, shrink, create. Not that I'd want to like, but can you? Damien, enjoy. Alright, let's get going. Thoughts? Full of energy, nobody likes this restaurant, that's just rude. We are running low on ingredients. Do we need 10? Keep minimum stored, 10. Oh, it's minimum storage. Oh, steady, steady, steady. Wait, we need fry. God damn it. You didn't tell me I needed these. It's already got some in, that's why. But keep a minimum of 10 in everything. Ignore global purchase price. Again, that means nothing to me. I'm going to say, can you guys not, like, stand in the kitchen and pretend like you want to do something? So Damien doesn't like doing this, so he's literally got nothing to do at the minute. I guess I could have added some grilled stuff in, so Damien had a job. Dry capacity is full. Oh, 50 out of 50 in stock. Oops. Well, we've got five things, so storing 50... Yeah, anyway, that's fine, I think. There's a lot of customers waiting. You may want to go into build mode. And oh my Christ, look at all these dudes out here. Didn't see you guys, sorry. Uh, one minute. Oh, oh, look at the state of that table. We're proper souping it up now. Are you ready? We're going, we're going full. I'm not even going to say what I was going to say there. We're going full something. And I think we're going to need a, another cleaning thing. Damien? Enjoy! <laughs> that table is absolutely minging. Whoa, steady on there. Um, she is going to get massively stressed out by this, I'm sure. Don't think I could wait six tables at once, but... She's going to give it a go. Are we ready? Oh, don't you dare... Now that the customers have started arriving, you may want to learn more about them. Click on the individual to open the character sheet. Yes. You like grilled beef sirloin? Um, have you noticed those stars in the bottom right? Oh, I have now that I've moved this window. Uh, the, review, bleh, the review panel is your greatest ally, and you'll find the fa fastest way to glory is to listen to react. Oh my god, I cannot read. It's to listen and react. Does nobody like dishes on the menu? Are people complaining about your taste in decoration? It's the way to slow than a turtle swimming in treacle. Weird concept. Uh, requests. We'll let you know exactly what the customer wants and expects from the restaurant. Oh, hello. Um, I thought they had a grilled beef sirloin. Grilled beef sirloin. They want grilled beef sirloin. So, why would a customer choose your place instead of the one next door? Popularity, of course. The higher your customer rate their experience, the faster restaurant popularity will grow. Everything seems to be in place, but you don't have much time to turn the tables on this one. Look at the customer requests in the review panel and create something new to increase your restaurant's popularity. So, I think we're going to go with something like a grilled beef sirloin. And chips. Grilled beef sirloin and chips. Um, our dried capacity needs to calm the hell down as well. Right. Hold on, one minute. So. I don't care for that, because I can edit it up here when I can, like, spell check things. <laughs> um, meat. Oh, we need to clear that off the air. So we've got beef sirloin. Grilled, obviously. What do we want with our grilled beef sirloin? Um, I mean, we can go chips again, but this is going to get fairly boring if we keep giving them more chips. Chips, fries, whatever you want to call them. In fact, you know what? No, you're having potatoes. Was the mash? All. All. 
Noki? Oh my god. Gross for all. Vegan, vegetarian. Deep fried or grilled, Raven? Deep fried or grill? <laughs> grilled? Grilled? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Can't time. Grilled beef and gnocchi. I think we want some salt and pepper on that. Breadcrumbs. We could breadcrumb it? Oh, my God. Burger bun? What? Oh, it's pasta and grain. I thought I was on... Um, Sauces and spices and stuff. It's, it's, it's a miss, isn't it? There you go. Have some, here you go. Here you go. Have some salt and pepper. you got to season these things. We need to get some of this ordered in. I think that's good. Let's go to the menu. And then let's laugh at how expensive this is. Ignore that, bad boy. We're just going to go for £15 right there. That'll do. I mean, we've finished the tutorial, so it's going to just take us straight out of here, isn't it? Well, before I... I'm going to exit to menu, actually. I, I think we've got the hang of it. It'll just be a case of making some recipes and stuff, which I can actually do in here. Chicken and chips. Did I not save that? Oh, that's what the export means. So it might be worth just making some um, some courses here. So I've not got to keep faffing about doing it in episode. But why have you changed to euros here? It's in pounds in the game. God damn it. And there is also create the avatar and the uniform editors and stuff like that. I, d I don't think I'm going to go that in depth with it yet. But it could be something I do again for uh, my beloved Patreons and supporters. We, uh, we could make your characters in-game. I just have to get you to sit there and direct me on how you wanted them doing. But it's an idea. It's an idea. Anyway, <clears throat> that's where we're going to wrap up our first episode of Recipe for Disaster. It's been fun. It's been a learning experience. And then, hopefully, next time, we can move on to the campaign, the chef's take. Seems like it's going to be fun. I think we're just going to be turning around restaurants, making them better. Gordon Ramsay style. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. It is greatly appreciated on the first episode. Always gets it out there for more people to see. And then, uh, you know, we can grow the channel and I can do this more often. All comments and feedback are greatly appreciated. If any of you have got any recipes, that would be dead nice. If you'd just like to link them below and tell me how you want it cooked. And a nice name for the recipe, that would be rather cool. Uh, and if you've liked what you've seen, feel free to subscribe. Plus, in the description below is Patreon, Discord and Twitch. Go have a look at those. Come on, join on Discord and uh, just join in with a fun. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.